Today, we are diving into the gritty world of crime and chaos with an analysis of Kane and Lynch 2, Dog Days. Released in 2010, developed by IO Interactive and published by Square Enix, this game promises intense action and an immersive narrative. Let's break it down into gameplay, graphics, unique features, and even some juicy easter eggs. But before we jump into the gritty underworld of Shanghai, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to see more content like this. Gameplay. Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days offers a visceral and action-packed gameplay experience. You'll step into the shoes of the infamous duo, Kane and Lynch, as they navigate the dangerous underworld of Shanghai. The character you will play mostly is Lynch, although there is one level near the end of the game where you will play as Kane. The game features a third-person perspective, making it easy to take cover, blind fire, and engage in intense gunfights. The controls are responsive, but can be clunky in certain situations, and the combat mechanics feel satisfyingly raw. The characters can often be heard talking in the middle of gunfights. Got him. He's trapped. He ain't going nowhere. Just tell me, and I'll put a fucking bullet in him. Don't kill him. What about the girl? We let her go. We're coming in. Which adds a bit of character to each fight, showing how this is definitely not their first rodeo. Civilian NPCs can be seen running through the bullets, and even at times becoming casualties from crossfire. Having civilians running through your field of view is just another element of the chaos. Speaking of NPCs, all levels in the game have other civilians going about their daily life, whether they are trying to watch a movie on their couch, or working in a sweatshop. One of the standout features is the realism in the gunplay. Weapons have a real weight to them, and the game doesn't hold back when it comes to gore or brutality. The cover system is robust, and you'll need to use it wisely to survive. Players can quickly switch from one cover spot to the next if it's close enough. If your cover gets shot and destroyed, you will be thrown to the ground and you will need to scramble to the nearest cover. Speaking of being thrown to the ground, when the player gets shot enough, they will also go into a down state where you can crawl to cover and regain health. These systems make it seem like you are fighting for your life in each fight. Graphics. Now, let's talk about the game's graphics. Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days has a very unique style. The developers opted for a shaky cam documentary style, which gives the game a raw and gritty look. It's as if you were playing through the lens of a handheld camera, capturing the chaos and brutality of the criminal world. While this style won't be everyone's cup of tea, it certainly adds to the game's atmosphere. However, the downside is that the shaky cam style can be disorienting at times, so be prepared for a bumpy ride. I personally enjoy the chaotic feel of the camera shake, but it can be turned off in the settings if it is too much for you. The environments of Shanghai are meticulously detailed, and the lighting effects create a genuinely immersive experience. Each level has its own feel, whether you are in an abandoned house or sprinting through people's apartments. The level design slash storytelling is fantastic. Small details are riddled throughout levels and they really create a sense of life, like these places are being used by everyday people. Character models have a surprising level of detail for the time. Clothing can be seen creasing when players run Lynch's hair waves as the player moves, along with various other details. Enemies are fairly unique with each level having some different variations of character models. Some levels will have you fighting gang members, while others will have you fighting Shanghai police or military forces. The one thing that catches my eye when I play the game is the running animation for the main character. 
I find this animation to be somewhat silly looking. I wish they had spent more time tweaking it since the animation is an integral part of gameplay. Unique features. This game has some unique features that set it apart from other shooters. One unique feature is the censoring feature that blurs out an enemy's head when you shoot them. This furthers the found footage feel and while everyone loves some fun gore in gaming, leaving it to the player's imagination is also a very valid technique to use. While we are on the topic of gunfights, I will also mention the various physics objects that are littered throughout the levels that can be shot, destroyed, and interacted with. I personally love when games add physics to the gameplay, and this game is no exception. Another fun element to the gunfights is the ability to pick up and throw certain explosive objects. After thrown, the player can shoot them, resulting in a large explosion that can take out multiple enemies. The gripping narrative is another notable element to the game. The story revolves around the dark and complex relationship between Kane and Lynch. The main objective in this game is to find Lynch's girlfriend. Lynch believes that the Shanghai Mafia is after her because of events that happened in the beginning of the game. Things seem to get darker and darker as the game goes on. And by the end of the game, you really feel the desperation from both Kane and Lynch. It's a compelling and mature story, which is something you don't see much these days. Easter eggs. And now, let's talk about some Easter eggs, because what's a good game without some hidden gems? The first Easter egg would be the bowling ball that can be used in the first level of the game. To activate this Easter egg, you will need to play the game on the most difficult setting. Otherwise, the bowling ball will not show up. After watching the cutscene at the beginning of the game, run up the stairs and through the first apartment complex and look at the end of this corridor to find the bowling ball laying on the ground. The bowling ball acts as a throwable object similar to the explosives that can be found in the game. It's a fun and silly element in contrast to the serious tone throughout the game. The second easter egg is found when having a shootout with the police. Players can enter a small store and on the shelves of the store you will be able to see references to the character Agent 47, who is the main character in the Hitman video game series. While I believe that is the extent of easter eggs in this game, I am not 100% sure on that. If you know of any others, feel free to leave a comment down below. Conclusion In conclusion, Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days delivers a unique and intense gaming experience. Its gritty gameplay, distinctive visuals, and immersive narrative make it a standout in the shooter genre, especially in today's world of rainbows and sunshine video games. If you're a fan of crime dramas and don't mind a little camera shake, this game is definitely worth a playthrough. Just be prepared for a wild ride through the dark streets of Shanghai. That's it for today's throwback analysis. If you played Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days, share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and check out my other throwback analysis videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.